It's day 161, the monk and Salama. Since the Prophet had come to Medina, every day was passing as a different and more beautiful day than before. The Muslims were enjoying this happiness. They wanted to share the beauty of Islam with everyone. They were going to great lengths for the people to recognize and believe the Prophet. Once a young man of Medina by the name of Salama was speaking to a monk. He wanted to remind the monk of his own words. He said, Do you remember, several years ago, in front of our house, you made a speech. Your speech had a great impact on me. For a very long time, I couldn't get over it. The monk and others paid close attention to Salama. He went on, continued, Greatly amazed, we were listening to what you were telling us. You pointed in the direction of Mecca and, and mentioned that a prophet was to come from that direction. You told us that one day he would come to Medina and he would prove that you were right. Dear monk, wasn't that man you? Yes, I was the man, said the monk. It was also you who told us that you were going to obey this prophet and you were going to go along with him, right? Continued Salama. Yes, that was me, said the monk. Now the prophet who was expected to come from Mecca has come and he is among us. But why don't you obey him? Don't you believe him? Questioned Salama. Well, said the monk, he is your man. He is not the prophet that we were expecting. What a foolish answer. The monk who had told the people about the coming of the prophet was very stubborn in resisting the truth just because this man was not from his own race. The young Salama got very angry with the monk who was acting in a two-faced way. With anger, his face became red. But he controlled himself, leaving the monk who knew deep down that the expected prophet had come but refused to admit it, Salama departed with his friends.